Hello, Mike. Well, hello, Katie. Wasn't it fun in the last episode getting to know a little bit about the students who competed in this year's 3M Clash of the Grinders? Yes, it was. And in this episode, we actually get to see them in action in the first round, the cutting competition. This is getting really exciting. I know. The students even got to use 3M's new Cubitron 3 performance abrasives, which were just announced at Fabtech this year and at the time weren't even available yet. The 3M disc, great. This stuff cut amazingly. It cut real smooth. It cut really smooth. I didn't put as much pressure as I usually do when I'm at school. I only put about 75 to 65% into it. So I, I, I really liked it. I'd use it. It does go through the steel real quick. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a good product. The disc is great. I love it. It's a lot faster than the stuff we use. Prior to this event, I wasn't aware that 3M did so much with abrasives. So definitely the nature of the contest itself has exposed me to 3M abrasives. Now, getting back to this round of the competition, Matt King, 3M application engineer, had a big role. That's right. He was there to help guide the students on how to best use 3M Cubitron 3 discs and wheels. And we have Matt here in studio with us today. Well, virtually that is. Welcome, Matt. Hi, everyone. So you were alongside the competitors every step of this competition. What was it like? After 34 years in this business, it was invigorating. It was exciting. It was fun to see these young students have the energy and the enthusiasm that they had towards not just participating in the, in the clash, but really when it got down to it, winning the clash. Now let's talk about 3M Cubitron 3 performance abrasives. The students used the new cutoff wheel in the first round, right? Do you think the competitors were surprised by its performance? Surprise, no. I think that uh, each one of them had run a cutoff wheel in their, in their past life or during their schooling. And um, what they recognized through what we had told them in the training and in their practice rounds, they were getting the very best tool put in their hands to compete with. You and your fellow 3M application engineer, Tyler Natz, provided safety training and gave students tips before each competition. What kinds of tips did you give them before this round? Well, you know, as with anything, even seasoned veterans need to be reminded of how to run an abrasive product safely. And uh, these students were no, no exception. Uh, yours truly no, no exception. I mean, I have to be reminded myself. So we took them through some very basic handling of the tool, addressing the tool to the workpiece, how they stand, how they center their gravity, all those little things that, that play into effectively cutting the metal without gouging, uh, having the wheel jerk away from them, or also even um, allow them to cut smoothly without having to put a lot of force on the tool. So what is unique about the 3M Cubitron 3 cutoff wheels? You know, when we apply science to, to life and we put uh, put science into our abrasives. And a lot of people don't think that science has anything to do with abrasives, but I had the fortunate uh, position to test these products in the field for the last two years. And to a person, everyone, every operator that runs a cutoff wheel um, or a grinding wheel for that matter, they, everyone said how smooth and how much less vibration they, they got into their arms through the tool and through their body as they used the product. They felt that they didn't have to push as hard. And that was a communication that came back from the students as well. They were blown away or surprised, um, a few of them more than others, uh, who were quite vocal about how quickly it cut without a lot of uh, force, a lot of pressure to, put, to hold the, the wheel in place. Well, that's a really good point. What do you think are the benefits of the 3M Cubitron 3 cutoff wheels for the operator? You know, I've never met a welder that has told me they love grinding or cutting. So if we can make their jobs easier, if we could speed up the process, um, put less vibration into their arms, which leads to less operator fatigue, that's a good thing for them. And while it wasn't part of the design features of these products, it was something that we recognized and realized after the fact. And, you know, to me, that's the biggest thing is making the operator more comfortable running an abrasive product when in fact, um, you know, they're, they're fabricators, they're welders. These guys are, these guys and gals are people that 
that make things and they inherently have to use abrasives in order to do so. And when you give them something that cuts faster, cuts easier, requires less uh, pressure and creates less fatigue, uh, all those things add up to a, a winning solution. Well, thanks for being here, Matt. I learn something every time you speak. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Katie. Thank you, Matt. If you want to learn more about 3M Cubitron 3, scan the QR code or visit the link in the description to sign up for insider emails. It was really nice to talk with Matt and get his perspective on Clash of the Grinders. Yeah, it was. Now how about we talk about the judges? Good idea. Just like in any good competition, they held a lot of power. They decided who advanced to the next round and who didn't. That's a lot of pressure. So our crew took some time to talk to them the day before the event to find out their motivation for supporting the Clash. I'm involved with Clash because it's a great way to introduce our abrasive technology with the students working within the welding industry uh, and I'm involved with this program because it's a very exciting way to get, uh, get our great product in the hands of these students. I was asked to be a part of the Clash of the Grinders because my territory is heavily focused in right angle grinding products. I deal heavily with a lot of the uh, uh, folks that are in the industry, uh, welders, uh, folks that are doing shipbuilding, so you know, for, for my expertise to see a lot of the applications would be great to kind of interface with some of the folks here. So I'm involved with Clash of the Grinders as a judge because it gives our young people our, our opportunity to see our most premium products that we're, we're uh, going to be launching, and it's important because it shows how much we care about the skill trades and how important they are to us. Um, they're, they're the future when it comes to manufacturing and we need to ensure that they understand how important 3M is for them and for us as well too. We want them to have knowledge of our products and also the ways that, that 3M can help them harness their crafts as welders and fabricators and improve on, on their skills. The skill trades are important because they're really the backbone of society. It's what makes the world go round. You never look at anything the same once you know things have been welded and pieced together and all of the work that goes into that. Um, our customers find this very important to their processes. So we're invested in making sure the students have everything they need to be successful. I think we need a lot of young people to, to really understand that, you know, the importance of uh, manufacturing and to really get back into, into doing a lot more of that. We have a lot of folks that, you know, are taking different career aspirations, you know, going into medical and going into different things like that. But the heavy manufacturing is still the heartbeat of America, and I think we still need to cultivate that. I think it's really important to get young people involved in skilled trade because it's a very exciting uh, opportunity that you can take all around the world or all around the U.S. You get to work with your hands, figure out puzzles on a daily basis. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with this type of role. This is important for 3M to sponsor Clash of the Grinders and really you know, put their arms around young people that are really getting into this industry because we have the best products on the market and, and we want to make sure that we're positioning folks that are coming straight out of school to be the most successful that it can possibly be, to go into a job and be and have the confidence that they need to be able to outshine everybody else and really set to set a pace for themselves and for their careers for years to come. And I think our products and our, our solutions will, will put them in that best position to make that happen. Getting involved in this program, it's a hands-on program where you get to use these products, show everyone what you've been learning, you know, be a bit competitive, win some money, and funnel it back into your education and the industry. I would just say this is just the beginning. You know, we want to keep doing things like this where we're promoting students and their education and getting them more resources and the best technologies. We're excited for the future and more programs like this. I'm Ron Clark. I'm Mackenzie Walden. And I'm Matt Guerin. And we're the judges for, for Clash of the Grinders Student, Student Edition. Edition. Okay, finally it's time for the main event. Round one of the Clash of the Grinders competition. Yeah, let's roll it. Are you ready? Welcome to 3M Clash of the Grinders, brought to you by 3M and NC3. Gentlemen, start your grinders. Five, four, three, two, one, and go! Go! Go, Angel! Go! You've got Nigel 
Wolf. And Parker Pino. Then from Huntsville, Alabama. Let's see how they do under pressure. Okay, we've got Hunter steady as a rock there, even a little bit of different techniques. Wolf was very confident. Moon is steady. Guys, even though we're here right now, totally in the zone. tiebreaker so we're getting set up for that right now yeah. and uh, more to come. A big difference between the one that came in last and the ones that came in on top from what you guys saw right? Difference in pressure? I pressure. Think, yeah. I think the number one operators were the technique was right on top mm -hmm. you know versus some of them were, were kind of at an yeah. angle they were, they were cutting it a little bit differently so. Yeah one of the biggest things with some of these tools is if you don't let the wheel do the work put too much pressure on it then the wheels, gonna, the, the tools, gonna actually stall out. It's a fail safe to make sure you don't burn the tools up, and that's kind of what what was happening a few times. Yeah. So, uh, and so Hunter and Ryan will be going up again head to head. So we'll see who's gonna win and stay in the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. We need to eliminate two contestants, and we're having a runoff for whoever's gonna stay and whoever's gonna go. Everybody ready, gentlemen? Start your grinders. Three, two, one, go! Somebody stay, somebody go. I hear a tool that was a little bit bogged down. That doesn't help. Really steady. Look at those steady hands. Love it. Three, two, one, and stop! Well done. 11 cuts in 90 seconds. Nine right here in 90 seconds. Well done. Very, very well done. Congratulations, Hunter. Congratulations. Well done. I'm going to announce nine names who are advancing to round two. So, congratulations to Parker, Ben, Jonathan, Dayton, Hunter, Nigel, Dustin, Julian and Avon. Well done, gentlemen, well done. Only nine students advanced to the next round of the competition. And it came down to the wire. It was heartbreaking to see Ryan and Eduardo out of the competition. In those two days, I really connected with all these young competitors. A competition like this can get very emotional. I'm sure the students had a lot of feelings after that first round. We have reaction from some of the contestants after that first round. Should we have a listen? Good idea. It, it makes me feel really good. You know, all the work I put in at school and learning and, you know, just coming here with my instructors, I'm very happy and I'm sure they're proud yeah, and I'm really good. excited to keep on going, I hope. Uh, as far as, you know, just the experience, I think this is all worth it. Going around to each booth and everything, seeing what everybody has, seeing future technologies and you're able to kind of prepare yourself for what's on the horizon. So I think it's a good experience to even just, just come down here. Learned a lot. Fun. It was harder than I thought. Um, I At the end there, I was like almost done with that eighth cut and uh, you know ended up just pushing it just a little bit too hard. 
didn't get it through all the way. It looks like I was not the only one who almost made one at the very end there, but turned out all right. Easy and hard at the same time. Like, as far as cutting, that's not bad. Done that a lot. But I mean, more of just crazy place to be. <laughs> I, I, I do think I'm going to win. I'm even more confident about my ability to bevel and weld. Uh, but there's some stiff competition. Some of these guys, they're, they got a lot of raw talent. They really know what they're doing. they got a handle on things. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I feel more conf confident right now. I, I did pretty good. Um, yeah, comparing to other people, I think I feel confident. I was excited, to be honest, because the grinder is my favorite tool. And uh, me and my buddy, Avon, the one that got nine, uh, we at my house, we were always cutting and just making little things there, so it was like second nature to us. Yeah, we love this stuff. So I mean, I was kind of disappointed myself at first, but I was still in that work mindset. I've got to have perfect straight cuts at work, so I was kind of at first, I was just you know trying to get as straight as I could. Then I was like, well, I didn't do what I wanted to, and I was happy there's a tiebreaker. But that last round, I was going until that grinder cut off. What an incredible ride for these students. There was so much to take in. You were there, Mike. How do you think the students handled it all? It was interesting because I spent some time with them ahead of time and they were all very confident. They all said they were gonna win. When the competition finally happens, that's where the rubber meets the road and a handful of them really did perform. And that was great to see. But Avon was the most interesting because he was very quiet and reserved and yet he smoked everybody in round one. That's really cool. That went so fast. Is it already time to talk about the next episode? Yes, it is. But there's a lot to look forward to in the next episode. We'll feature the second round, the Bevel Challenge of Clash of the Grinders Student Edition. And we'll get to talk to Matt King once again about using 3M Cubitron 3 performance abrasives, but this time for beveling. Plus, we'll hear what 3M's corporate scientist and chief science advocate, Jay Shree Seth, has to tell us about 3M Forward and 3M's commitment to skilled trades. And we'll hear from some of the competitors' instructors on why they got into teaching skilled trades. So please join us next time as we get even closer to finding out who was crowned the winner of the Clash of the Grinders Student Edition. And to sign up to learn the latest about 3M Cubitron 3, scan the QR code on your screen or click the link in the description and fill out the short form to receive exclusive insider emails.